Uh, morning guys, today I'm assembling a upper cabinet for cabinets to go. Um, it's a fairly simple process. Um, you want to get yourself a sturdy table to work on. Um, go ahead and put the box upside down and then take your razor blade and, and open the box. Try not to scratch anything, try not to uh, cut into the box itself. Just go around the edges so you can actually unpack it and uh, you know we'll go from there. Okay, once you have the box opened up, um, you, you're about ready to start taking out pieces. So what I've done is I've opened up the box, cut it in half, and I've put a box on the floor right here. So what I'm gonna do now is take it out in individual pieces so I can see, number one, um, if there's any damage to it, and uh, number two, I can kind of see what I'm working with. Okay, now that you have everything, everything unpacked, um, the first thing you wanna do is actually lay the face frame facing up. Um, I wanna take the doors off for two reasons. Number one, I don't want it to get damaged while we're assembling the cabinet, and number two, it makes it lighter so you can maneuver the cabinet a little bit more. Um, so just be careful when you take these doors off. They got it well protected. Um, what I usually do is I set my drill at around 12 so I don't strip any screws. I'll take the doors off, put it in a safe, in a safe place, and then we'll go ahead and then we'll start assembling the cabinet from there. Okay, you've got your doors taken off. You put the, um, I highly suggest you put your screws back into the holes where it came from because you have a tendency of losing that. Um, what I did is we're gonna install the side panels now. Um, I've already ran a bead of glue on the two edges. Um, the next thing you want to look for is panel B, which is gonna be the side panels. So if you look closely on the panels, they'll have these little stickers that says B. So you're looking for both panels, which is B, and these are the side panels. Um, it's a fairly easy mechanism. Um, you basically just slide it into the groove this plastic uh, uh, bracket will slide over and then you'll just use a Phillips screwdriver to tie it into place. So make sure you get it in the groove, um, nice and tight. Make sure the edge is in, in, in the little channel and uh, you, you're good to go. Then it's just an easy turn with the uh, Phillips screwdriver to kind of lock, lock this in place. You don't want to use a screw gun in this process because it will, lock, it will strip this, the mechanism. So a Phillips screwdriver will work perfectly and all you need to do is just give it a half a turn and that will lock this panel right in place, all right? So I'll go ahead and I'll lift it up. Try not to slide your face frame over the cardboard regardless of the fact that you might have um, you know, you might have uh, a protection. There's always the, uh, a odd chance that you'll get a, uh, you know, something laying on the cardboard and, and it will damage the face frame. So once I've got my second bead ran, I'll go ahead and look for my second panel, right? And I'll go ahead and put that in. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's in the groove. Take your full up screwdriver, give it a half a turn to lock it in place. And you are ready to do the rest of the panels. Okay, once you have your side panels up, you're gonna look for part D, which is near the bottom and the top of the cabinet. I went ahead and I put some uh, glue on my, on my face frame. Um, so then what you're gonna do now is you wanna slide this panel in from the top. And slowly, when you hit this bracket over here, you slowly wanna just kind of flare this open a little to your bracket so that your cabinet can get into the bracket and make sure it's very crucial that you have, you're in the gap right here and you're not sticking out because this little variance over here will make it difficult for you to slide the back panel in. So once you have that in secure, same step, just go ahead and give it a half turn with your Phillips screwdriver and that will lock that in place. And now we're ready to slide okay, the back panel Okay, we have our top in. and our bottoms in. So the next step is to put the back panel in. Um, you got to slide it through this groove and make sure, I guess, uh, you know, that you slide it evenly because if you do that, if you slide one side of the of the of the edge more, it's going to wedge and you're not going to go through. So what you want to do is just make sure you wiggle it in a little bit and make sure it stays in that groove. Okay, there's nothing wrong with getting yourself a little rubber mallet and if you're struggling, just kind of tap it on each side so it goes in perfectly. All right, once you have that in, you want to make sure that it is lined up on the top and the bottom. And then we'll open up our hardware box and then we'll start putting some screws in the back. Okay, we have our back panel is secured. We've got the four screws in. The next thing you're gonna look for is four of these angle, metal angle brackets. Um, there's two on each side on the bottom and the top and they get connected to the face frame and the side panel to just give you a little bit of extra sturdiness. After that, what I usually do, and this is a matter of preference, not everyone has a micro pinner. I go ahead and I'll micro pin the side panel to the back panel just to make sure that it's nice and, and sturdy and, and nothing moves on me.
right, guys, uh, thank you for watching. That's how you uh, uh, assemble an upper cabinet for cameras to go. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Once you get a rhythm going, you, you can knock out a few of them in a span of an hour. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting another video this week in regards to how you build a bottom cabinet and the drawers that go with it. Thank you for watching. Share and like the video.